So when you compare decentralized and centralized storage costs, uh, you recognize that decentralization brings about a far more compelling and sustainable economic uh, models for the people who are storing data. And you know, data has this interesting property. As I mentioned, people seem to create more and more of it every year. They also tend not to throw away the data that they have, right? And so um, costs kind of rise exponentially unless you are driving down the cost of storage because you're not only creating more data, but you've got all the data that you created last week and week before. And if it costs you the same amount to put the data in there, the same amount to keep it there, the same amount to take it out, costs get out of control. Um, by leveraging the fact that there's tons and tons of unused capacity out there and tons, tons and tons of unused bandwidth out there uh, that can be utilized very inexpensively without incurring new costs. From a developer standpoint, um, cloud storage services are easy to get going, um, but they tend to rack up uh, massive fees over time. And decentralized cloud storage has, uh, has a number of ways to make that easier. Number one is simplicity, right? Because you have a marketplace of, of, of different users providing uh, shared capacity for hard drive space and bandwidth. Um, it tends to, uh, to create a cost structure where there's no upfront investment of billions of dollars uh, to get a service running. And so those savings can be passed on to developers. And so what developers find are uh, decentralized cloud storage operates at a fraction of the cost for storage and bandwidth, but also without a ton of additional complexity and fees. I think that people don't really understand sort of how bad the cost dynamic is. I saw a, a recent uh, a comparison uh, online of uh, just bandwidth costs in particular for AWS. And uh, uh, the, 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 it was a tweet. Uh, the tweet pointed out, and this is, this is true, um, that uh, if you use um, uh, one gigabit a second of bandwidth egress out of AWS for a month, it costs $21,000 a month. Um, and if you were to go and buy that same bandwidth from Hurricane Electric, which is a, a, a bandwidth provider, it's about $400 a month uh, to get one gigabit a second of symmetrical trans. At the end of the day, there is an enormous amount of cost savings being left on the table by have everyone having switched to cloud, cloud or centralized cloud providers. Um, and so the benefit of some of the more decentralized offerings or edge computing offerings is that uh, cost should be no longer having to pay these exorbitant uh, cloud computing taxes uh, that are essentially usually covered up in egress bandwidth fees. And centralized storage can start right off the bat being significantly cheaper, from from about uh, you know megabyte stored, megabyte downloaded, uh, megabyte uploaded perspective. It's also going to get more and more affordable over time, right? Because decentralization can take advantage of more law. Decentralization can take advantage of the fact that chips are getting more powerful and disks are getting denser. And then so as more and more disks are shipped and are used and all the unused capacity is out there, um, and because there are lots and lots of individuals who are involved in this as opposed to three large players, the economics work in favor of the end user and developer, as it should be. One additional benefit is that with the, uh, the significant decrease in, in cost of bulk bandwidth over time um, and the availability of new services uh, and, and hosting environments and bandwidth alliances, uh, it's possible for decentralized cloud storage services to offer not only uh, ultra low cost capacity, ultra low cost bandwidth, but also to get around some of those switching fees that the, uh, the hyperscalers put in place for vendor lock-in. And so what it ends up being is an opportunity for developers to actually interact with a, a different category of, of storage service that meets their needs, that enhances their privacy and security, and also delivers um, fantastic uh, economic benefits for their applications and for their end users. Mm -hmm.